friends, I've received lots of requests for more vegetarian dishes. So this week I'm sharing the recipe for making seitan, also called wheat meat or mock meat. Seitan is a vegetarian protein made from wheat gluten. It has a meat-like texture, mild flavor, and very easy to season, and so it's a great substitute for meat. This week we start with the basics, and in future videos we'll build on this recipe to make some tasty vegetarian dishes. Here's a list of ingredients we will need. Warm water, baking powder, salt, and vital wheat gluten. Let's start by sifting the gluten. Add the warm water into a bowl. And then we add baking powder and salt. Give the mixture a quick stir. For this next step, we need to work fast. Add the wheat gluten and stir it quickly, mixing it with the water. The dough forms in a matter of seconds. Fold the dough onto itself a few times and work in the dry bits. Now we knead the dough just a few times, working in any remaining dry gluten. Place it in a small bowl or container and then press down gently. Cover with plastic wrap and allow to rest for one hour. Back to the seitan that's been resting for the last hour or so. We can see that it's puffed up a bit. The seitan can rest for up to three hours and it'll be just fine. Use a sharp knife to cut it into slices. The texture is a bit rubbery and we have to use a firm hand to cut through it. For more bite-sized pieces, cut each slice in half. Drop the pieces into a pot of boiling water. And let's make sure there's plenty of room in between so they don't stick together. Continue cooking until all the pieces float to the top. This takes approximately two to three minutes. Scoop them out and place in a colander and allow to cool for just a few minutes. We can now use the boiled seitan in our dishes as a replacement for meat. We can also pan fry them with some vegetable oil over medium heat. Move the pieces around a bit so they don't stick to the pan. Pan fry until golden brown, approximately two minutes per side. Thanks for joining me. I'll share more vegetarian dishes in the near future, so please check back. Hi, I hope you've enjoyed this easy how-to video. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to post below. For full recipes, check out runawayrice.com. I work on new recipes each week, so please subscribe to my channel to stay tuned. This is Trang wishing you good eating and good health. Thanks for watching.